Hey guys, it's John Goldshot. Welcome to the Nutrioso Bible Church Weekly Devotional. Today, I'm going to focus on one of the last things Jesus said here on earth. It's what we call the Great Commission. He was speaking to his disciples in Matthew chapter 28, verses 18 through 20. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always, to the very end of the age. So, we're just a few short weeks into 2021, and I got a question for you. How many people have you shared Jesus with so far this year? Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, John, I'm just one person. I don't matter that much. I'm not that strong, not that smart, not that good. Nobody will listen to me. I'm not popular enough. I'm not spiritual enough. See, I understand all those excuses because they're the same excuses I've used for years. But it just isn't true. So let me show you a different way of looking at it. Have you ever checked out what they call a deck of dominoes? You know, dominoes kind of remind me of people a little bit in that they, they come with different combinations of dots and colors and some of them are cracked or, or chipped or faded. Maybe the colors are, are peeling off a little bit. You know, those imperfections give each individual domino its own character. And obviously, the older and more well-used a domino is, the more character it's going to have. Kind of like us, right? I mean, the more used we are, the more character we have too, or at least that's what I'm going to call it. You know, I watched an amazing video on YouTube the other day where somebody had taken 100,000 dominoes and set them up in this beautiful pattern and made them all fall one by one. And I had a couple of takeaways from that. Um, the first one is that it all started with one single domino and didn't make any difference how scratched that domino was or how imperfect or how well used it was. That single domino started a chain reaction that caused all 100,000 of them to fall. The other thing I came away with was that out of the 100,000 total dominoes in this pattern, all but the last one caused at least one other domino to fall. See, each domino has its own role to play in a bigger picture. If even one domino doesn't get its job done, doesn't do its part, then there are dominoes left standing, dominoes left behind. I, I think that's a lot like our testimony, don't you? I mean, we each have a role to play, a, a part to play in the kingdom. If even one person is left behind, we failed. Like with dominoes, you never know which person you could reach for Jesus that could reach thousands. And it doesn't matter how scratched you are. It doesn't matter how worn you are or how imperfect you are. You can get the job done if you just trust Jesus. Think about Billy Graham. I was on BillyGraham.org the other day, and it said that during his ministry, nearly 215 million people heard him preach. That's just crazy. Now, Billy was led to Jesus at a revival meeting, which was led by a man named Mordecai Ham. And I'm just betting that that morning when Mr. Ham got out of bed, he had no idea that he'd be leading one of the greatest Christian speakers one of the greatest Christian leaders of all time to Jesus on that very day. You see, you just never know. But God does. He made you the way he made you and put you where he put you every day for a reason, for, for a purpose. He's not asking you to be perfect. He's asking you to trust him and to obey him. See, you have a role to play in the kingdom. And your scratches and your imperfections I think will help define that role. As a matter of fact, the imperfections that may be holding you back are exactly why somebody with the same issues is more likely to listen to you or to pay attention to you. See, I truly believe that we minister best to those who are where we were. Let me say that again. We minister best to those who are where we were. I mean, think about it. If you've had problems with drugs and alcohol at some point in your life, you're going to better understand what somebody who's dealing with that right now is going through and how to connect with them, how to build trust with them. 
Maybe you come from a broken home or maybe you're having relationship or marital problems of your own that you're dealing with. Maybe you're not a math whiz or maybe you don't always use perfect grammar like me. Maybe you're just shy or you lack self-confidence. See, here's the thing. There are people out there with the same issues who need Jesus. I think you have a better chance of reaching them than somebody who has not been where they are. When Jesus said, go to all nations, he meant all people, even the imperfect ones, even the ones just like you, just like me. In Luke 15, 10, Jesus said, I tell you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner who repents. See, the world's full of lost people. It's full of sadness. It's full of stress. It's full of hopelessness. But we have the cure. You have the cure. See, we have Jesus. I promise you this. There's never going to be a better moment in your life than that moment when you lead somebody home, when you lead somebody to Jesus. Did you see, that's why you're here. In today's scripture, in verse 20, Jesus said, I am with you always to the very end of the age. The King James Version says, even unto the end of the world. So what do you have to fear? Your scratches? Your dents? Your hurts? Your imperfections, maybe? See, Jesus covered all that for us. He covered it all for you. He's with you, always, to the end of the world. So take a little pride in those imperfections and know that those scars are exactly why you should share Jesus with everybody every chance you get. Because you know what? You never know which one of those people is going to reach 100,000 for Jesus. Father, thank you for the freedom we still enjoy of, of talking about you and learning about you and sharing you with everybody we meet. I pray you give each and every one of us the confidence as we move through our week to do just that every time we get a chance to share you with everybody we meet. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey guys, have a great rest of your week. We'll see you Sunday at 11 on Facebook Live.